Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Angela. And I thought I would go ahead and do our week ahead spread this today for the week ahead. Um, and today I'm going to use, it just, it's been bugging me all day. Literally, this deck has been going, when are we going to do this? When are we going to do this? All day long. It's like, pick me, pick me, pick me for this week ahead spread. I have yet to use this deck. So, um, we're going to use it for the week ahead and see what happens. So, this is the second edition of the Marielle Tarot, as all of you know. Um, and let me add a little color here. Um, beautiful stone. Um, I don't know, I just felt like it needed some color, too. Um, some love. So anyway, if you're just tuning in for the first time to my channel, um, every Sunday I try to get in a week ahead spread for the collective, for everybody or for me or whoever it's for. Um, and usually what I do is I'll pull the energy obstacle and advice for the week and then I will give my interpretation and then I will go to the book and see what the book says. If I feel drawn, um, Usually I do. I will pull an oracle card as well. Today we'll be using the Sacred Creators Oracle as well. Just because I feel like this is a deep deck and I need a little bite to go with it. Like the Sacred Creators Oracle is to me a little, it bites a little. Um, so it's it's letting me know we're, we're going to go deep, but we're not going to go that deep. <laughs> All right, now that I've taken a drink, I did draw the cards. I have not pulled and looked at them to see what they are. So let's get into this. So for the energy of the week, and something told me I was going to draw the Queen of Swords. <laughs> That's interesting because Queen of Swords is like, especially my light seers, uh, like she has her heart in a cage. Like she has... Um, in the lights here, she's not quite mastered that balance of between head and heart. Um, she would rather stick her emotions in a box and not deal with them. Um, this one is like she's, it's the all-seeing eye. Like she sees everything. Um, but I'm still getting this more br brutal. I, I don't want to say brutal because that seems too harsh of a word. Uh, but at the same time, that's the word that's coming to mind is she's got this brutality about her um, in this card that she does what she needs to get done. Um, she's got to she's got to do what she's got to do. Um, she's got to set emotions aside for a minute and think logically about the situation, whatever situation it may be, um, and kind of put on that cold as ice front even though she's not, uh, because there's a job that needs to be taken care of logically, not emotionally, um, if that makes sense. Interesting. <laughs> um, part of that is interesting simply because my grandmother passed away last Thursday. Wednesday is her funeral. I will be with family members I haven't seen in years, all day long. Uh, my mother is one of them. Uh, my mother is there already. Um, it's one of those situations like, um, we know each other is going to be there. We haven't spoken in a long time. And sir, my mom, just her presence alone can set me off and trigger me emotionally. So I think this is a very good card to say, maybe emotions should stay out of it. Um, I know, yes, we're going to a funeral, um, and... There will be some emotions, but maybe I should stay away from, it's telling me maybe I should stay away from these triggers um, that could exacerbate that, the situation. So that makes total sense to me. So for the uh, obstacle of the week, I got the Page of Wands. And the pages are always, to me, the page of wands especially, is all about a new beginning, 
um, a new fiery, like headstrong leading in, like rushing in because it's an immaturity level there because it's a page. They're not quite grown, but they're rushing in. They, they're on all gung ho on fire to get something accomplished, get something done. And maybe they're rushing in without, because of their, the maturity level, they are rushing in without thinking about what they're rushing into. So that coupled with that makes total sense. Um, especially for me Wednesday, maybe I shouldn't rush headlong in and I should take the time to think about what I'm going to even say to my mother or to other family members when I get there. Um, and that may be the obstacle because like I said, just my mom's mere presence can trigger me. Um, so <laughs> this is shaping up to be an interesting read and an interesting Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> um, already. Um, so for the advice for the week, I got temperance, of course. Temperance is all about that balance. And it's telling me you need to, you need to hold on to this, this temperance, embody the temperance, pretty much embody that card right now, because something's about to happen that you need to take a lot of emotion out of it. And instead of rushing headlong in with your emotions, you need to check that. Check it. Check it. Put it in check. Um, so that makes total sense to me. I don't know if it makes sense to anybody else, but let's go see what the book says. Uh, the Queen of Swords. I don't know why. I haven't really got a chance to look at the book yet either, so I know they're not... In a specific order. I mean, they are, but they're different than normal. There's a page. Oh, wands. Yeah, it looks like all the knights and the queens are together. And so, um, yeah, let's see. The Queen of Swords. Quite a bit there says I can't read it Huggin and Munnin were the eyes of Odin his companions each day at dawn he sent them out to fly over Midgard and at dinner time they returned with all the news of the world their names meant thought their names mean thought and memory <laughs> Odin always worried that one day there would not they would not come back but they always did i like to think of odin as the face in the sky his eyes the sun and the moon in a sea of black sky like a pitch black raven feather in dream subconscious symbolism different things flow and merge together as internal ideas search out external ideas to stand in for them this is a constant continuation of the idea in the seven of swords Raven stealing the sun. After Raven steals the sun, life or fire. Oh, wow. He eats it and holds it in his body. Just like each living being here contains a divine shared of share, shard of life force. Each of us has eaten a little bit of sun and holds it in our bodies, keeping it safe during its exile from God. During the long dark night, the winter, the ravens flying over Midgard, Odin's fears are unfounded, and in the morning the sun is always released from the cave and rises again. The reason emerald green was used in the eye and in many things throughout this deck is because a it is the center of the visible color spectrum, which is red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Green is the very center of our beautiful, colorful reality. Wow. It's my favorite color, too. Uh, the, cen the center of the rainbow, the emerald throne of God. So here it sits, Huggin and Munnin on the tree of life, Yggdrasil, protecting the sparks in life within them as we all do, reporting back to Odin at night as we all do, as souls in exile, then freed again at death. <laughs> that makes 
that's crazy so then for keywords upright communicating stories memories histories legends myths sciences abundance of knowledge storyteller librarian the natural world as the history of everything recorded in matter thought and memory exchange of information and i find that that's interesting that the queen of swords is more about thought and memory in this um yeah that's that's crazy because that makes sense of what i'm about to go through <laughs> reverse failing to communicate or pass on knowledge Bad or broken communication, loss of memory, or silence. Wow, silence is not a good thing in that. So that's interesting. The deeper we go, right? So here we have Page of Wands. When I'm not reading everything, I'm just going to read the keywords on this one. Um, keywords upright have the or I'm just going to read the reverse. Apathy, disbelief, lack of faith, detachment, or doubt. That makes sense. A detach, and it, it's telling me it feels like here it's telling me you need to detach, but then here it's saying this detachment may be your undoing. Um, wow, that's interesting. Wow. And lack of faith, lack of faith in myself, maybe, um, to not be able to handle whatever comes my way Wednesday. Interesting. And then we have the temperance card for the, and they got a lot on those. I'm not reading all that either. I'm going to read this little quote. Tiger, tiger, burning bright in the force of the night. What immortal land or I dare frame thy, thy fearful symmetry? Uh, William Blake, the tiger. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay. So let's see the keywords on that one. Because that's quite long also. Upright. Uh, moderation, self-restraint, powerful balance of opposing forces. Avoid the extremes and choose the middle path. Compromise, balance, patience, and good temper. If you see the tiger rising out of the dark depths of the ocean in the subconscious, it can be renewal of life, strength, hope, and fertility. Burst into life after death. Wow. And then the reversed, lack of self-restraint and moderation, excessive self-indulgent, Overindulgence in alcohol, impatient, bad tempered, imbalanced, indulge in extremes, con con conversely, lukewarm, tepid, neutered, overly restrained, bad or toxic combination of people or ingredients. And I feel like that's what I meant. Like, that's what this feels like is like this is one ingredient, this is another. Uh, and the two are toxic. The combination is toxic. But then over here you've got this card that's like, I'm going to have to dilute this combination um, and make it palpable. Um, that's very interesting. So here we have the Sacred Creator's Oracle. And I'm just going to pull a quick... How do you do from this card, from this deck? Just give us a little bit more information here. you have any more information for the spread any more information for the week ahead spread here and I got one that tried to come out here and it is <laughs> cut the cords of doubt and I feel like that's what the temperance card was saying here is you doubt yourself that you're not going to be able to handle what's coming um, you need to cut those cords cut the strings uh, and know that you got this so that makes total sense to me Interesting. So let's see what this card says. 42. Wow, and I opened right up to it. Crazy. Essential meaning, rising against any odds, letting go of doubt, futility, fulfilling your soul path, tackling creator angst, and launching anyway. Shining like a freaking sun and delivering your genius and brilliance. 
self-care message, being constrained by doubt and fear, not taking a chance, choosing to skip your amazing opportunities, and staying in the comfy zone. See, I'm telling you, this deck slaps you in the face. I felt the slap just now. I don't know if you did, but I did. Doubt can taint the most beautiful of circumstances or change a trajectory by keeping it unnaturally constrained. It can be an incessant tether and it may be getting in the way of something you have been thinking about doing. This card is a wonderful sign to take a risk on your brilliance. It assures a journey of success and freedom and it whispers a pure potential when you embrace your true nature. Your desire, your essence is like a phoenix rising from the constraints of its old form or like an angel rising up to the heavens. When you let go, which has been the consistent message for me for like two years, of your anchors and are about unbound by the gravity of fear, you will easily see which shackles, habits, or beliefs need to be released first. What is weighing you down, creator love? It's time to let go and release sadness or anger, guilt or shame, and to exhale doubt and inhale love. Spread your wings and glide home because the whole of the universe supports this radiant rising of your spectacular spirit. Wow. And then it says this card shows a phoenix rising from the constraints of its old form, an angel rising up to the heavens, or a fey creature who is not bound by the gravity of doubt. What do you see? And when you get its bird's and when you get its bird's eye view of your shackles and see exactly which areas of your life weigh you down, which cord needs to be cut first? Wow. Interesting. <laughs> so, there's going to be a lot of, um, uh, in a nutshell, from what I'm seeing in this, um, I have a big opportunity to um, heal a lot of things, um, Wednesday, um, or I could just bury my head in the sand and ignore it again. Um, so this makes a lot of sense to me. Um, it's very deep. If any of you guys resonate with this, let me know in the comments below. Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification button so you're alerted to any future videos and y'all have a good night.